Hello friends, Greg2G here, and today we stumbled across a letter to the community from the producer of Noah's Heart. Let's go ahead and read it. Uh, just as a side note, this was all this is all in Chinese originally. But yeah, let's go ahead and read it then. And yeah, of course, since it's in Chinese and translated by Google Translate to English, it's probably not going to make a much a lot of sense in some places, but we're we're gonna do our best here. So, dear adventurers. For the first time, I am Pippi, producer of Noah's Heart, and welcome you to this magical planet. I'm going to add words here and there just because to try to make it like make more sense. <laughs> As the architects of this planet, we have been working hard for this world and look forward to working with you to find heroes who can truly save humanity. Before starting an adventure, you may want to ask, who is a hero and why does humanity need everyone to save? Sorry. This question is so complicated that it cannot even be explained in words. But please firmly believe that the answer must be ahead. Let's talk about this world. The creation of this world has entered its third year. I believe that with your participation, we will soon show the whole picture of this world to everyone. Oh, so they've been, side note, by the way, off script. So they've been working on this for three years already. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. I, th I thought it seemed like it was just entering development maybe within the last year so i was not expecting yeah i was kind of expecting this game to be a long way away but with three years of development yeah that's uh yeah maybe this is coming sooner than we think we are a group of older and younger gamers older means that we have created several mmo masterpieces younger means that we are reluctant to repeat only the traditional content that everyone does not like but hope to create a whole new world for everyone. Like everyone else, we also hate the experience of brainless Krypton to the sky and the liver to the ground. I, okay, off script, I guess this must be, these must be some sort of uh, idioms or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Maybe metaphors or something in Chinese. Maybe they make sense in Chinese, but uh, yeah, <laughs> in English, this makes no sense. All right, moving on. We don't want to play only one dragon every day and only take the timetable. We don't want to wear MMO is to hang up. MMO is not... Okay, yeah, this is really badly translated, I'm sorry. Uh, this, this last, these last couple of sentences, uh, I can't even try to make sense of those. Therefore, a world that breaks through these constraints has come to our minds. It has a host-level picture quality. It has a sense of shock in near action games. It has a different experience every time it plays, and it makes me willing to go online every day. However, this is far from enough because playability itself is necessary as a world. We were designing and planning playability for players, so there must be limitations so we can build such a world. Number one, this world is complete and realistic. This world should not be divided into blocks, and even this world should not have boundaries. Okay, uh, off script, I, I believe this means it's a complete open world game. Um, so there's no no loading screens, none of that. Like you can you can run across the world. Uh, if if that's actually true, that's that's freaking awesome. One of my big, biggest gripes with Dragon Raja was um, that it's just not even like a complete cohesive world. It's just fragments of a alternate reality or something and it just feels really weird okay moving on number two this world is rich and fulfilling this world should have light and darkness water and fire day and night and changeable climate and weather and these elements cannot just look different each element corresponds to a different gameplay oh off script again uh this yeah so you they're saying that these elements... Oh, actually, they do have this in Dragon Raja. So this this is probably something that they're taking over from Dragon Raja. Because, you know, when it's raining and stuff in Dragon Raja, if you get too hot or too cold, there's different debuffs or buffs and all that stuff. So I guess, I guess that's something they're going to be bringing over from that. All right, number three. This world is interesting and surprising. Life in this world cannot be repeated day after day. You should have a new experience every time you enter the game. Not only with different gameplay also every time when you meet different people different things happen number four this world is full of emotions and stories 
clearing the main tasks and side tasks one after another should not be the main experience of the world. If possible, the plot should be full of choices. Every player should be in like chasing dramas. The game is constantly exposed to new plots, making its own choices and creating its own unique mainline. Okay, off script again, this is uh, sounds a bit like Dragon Raja as well, where we have different options in the story dialogues and stuff, and maybe we'll have like a similar system to uh, where you have like, you know, the cute and hot or whatever, and all that, all these different personality traits that you that you uh, get in Dragon Raja. Maybe that's that kind of sounds like that's what they're talking about here. Number five, this world is full of temperature and humanity. If it is just to enhance the combat effectiveness, everything will be cold. We will do everything we can to make every player encounter all kinds of other adventurers in the world. Maybe it's just a hurry to pass by, but we hope that you will find like-minded friends, CPs who love each other, and even partners who will last for life. Okay, so uh, it sounds like they're talking about, yeah, you can probably get married in the game and stuff like like you can in Dragon Raja. After thinking about this, we ran a world of spherical seamless maps was established and we designed a Noah planet. World, a world composed of seven types of landforms plus unlimited sea areas. In this world, we have created multi-line branching plots and integrated various characters. According to the idea of fan opera, it presents players with an environment where they can uncover hidden events and find the ultimate secret of this world. After completing the above basic structure of the game, we began to focus on the game's combat gameplay. In order to achieve the next generation host level combat experience, we added to the game free weapon combat system, near and far dual mode free switch. So I guess uh, off script that sounds like maybe you can switch between melee and ranged. Uh, at your will, so you don't you don't have a class where you are just locked to one specific weapon. That's that's really cool if that's the case. All right, moving on. Unlocked combat system, floating combo combat system, giant bus boss subsite destruction, and other MMORPG games in the elements that we did not dare imagine before. Although we use top-notch engines like Unreal Engine, we still focus all our energy on the mobile experience itself. While having the best picture quality, we will gradually optimize the performance of all devices. In order to have the best audio visual experience, we introduced the WYS audio engine so that no matter whether it is external or headphones, you can have the best experience. In addition, we invited top Chinese and Japanese Sayu to contribute to the game, invited first class composers to create more than 20 different soundtracks and theme songs for the game, and invited the world's top orchestra to record and mix. We will also add original operating modes such as dynamic operating system to the mobile phone experience. I hope that the game can be called a AAA level game on mobile phone in all aspects. In fact, today's game exposure, we have been afraid that it's too early because even though it has been developed for three years, we have always felt that the game is still not satisfactory. But we understand the truth that it is a mule that is drawn out of a horse. And we know more clearly that a good game is not just the development of one mind alone. So we hope that in the next time, no matter how many problems there are, Noah's heart should only be taken out to share and communicate with everyone, and continue to modify, repair, and adjust. All right, let's go off script for a second. So, yeah, he confirmed, or they confirmed, I don't know if it's he or she, but they confirmed that it's a, uh, basically they've been working on it for three years, like they just said it for a second time, and, you know, they, you know, they're trying to, they're basically saying that they have some sort of a perfectionism look at the game, and they want to try to, even though they, they feel like it's not good enough. They they want to bring it out anyway, just because you know you can spend they could spend decades trying to make everything perfect, and you know never nothing's ever going to be perfect. So they're trying to you know just get over that fact and bring it out so that we can have a look and 
they can continue to adjust, I guess, based on player feedback. Okay, feeling not fun enough? Change. Think the game is unfair to play? Change. Think the game is too tiring? Change. Think the game is too stupid? Repair. Think the game is not beautiful enough? Repair. Think the game experience is not smooth? Repair. Want the game to fight more smoothly? Tune. Want a higher degree of freedom in the game story? Tune. Want to invite more famous voice actors and painters? Let's go, please. <laughs> As a producer, I hope to improve the world of Noah's heart with the players. At the beginning of the article, I sold a pass. Who was a hero? Why should I choose a hero to save mankind? Of course, I still want to continue to sell this pass, because although we now have sufficient ideas as a skeleton, but the flesh and blood of Noah's heart needs to be constructed and assembled with each of our players in the future. But what is certain is that Noah's planet as a virtual world, Noah's heart itself, is the biggest key to unlocking the answer to this question. Noah's heart is not only a traditional MMORPG in our hearts, it has already become our belief. We are willing to give our souls, create a world, and let every player get happiness, achievement, and hope from it. All right, so um, a couple things I want to take from here, like and it's kind of hard. This is kind of maybe reaching a little bit, but a couple things I want to take from here, like uh, basically what it sounds like to me. And okay, like I really want to, <laughs> I really, really want to. I really hope this is true, but because they say that they have some older um, developers and also some younger, or older and younger gamers, and. Uh, and there's like this idea that they've kind of mentioned a few times that they're basically they want this to be different from every other MMO. So um, I'm hoping that means they don't want they want to like get away from like the really heavy auto systems and maybe really heavy pay to win. Maybe they're I'm, that's my hope. I don't I'm probably reading too far into this because obviously I mean that's us as Western players we our biggest gripes are, you know, auto and pay to win. That's, that's something we really don't want to see much of. And I, and I'm sure like, this is me just reading too far into this, but it does sound like they're trying to, you know, make it better, a better experience for everybody as, as players. And, um, like it's not a, it's not going to be a cash grab. Basically. I think it sounds like they, they put, they're putting their heart and souls into this game and, yeah, like, uh, and especially with three years of development behind them already, this, uh, this, this is actually it kind of, it feels good to have a producer saying these sort of things. And, uh, I really hope, I really hope it's true. <laughs> and another thing that really, really stood out to me and like, I'm really, really happy for, I hope, I hope it comes out like they want it to be as the, the, uh, the soundtracks and all the, the audio stuff that they that they're talking about because man so many mobile games just have terrible terrible audio so i really really hope that uh they're gonna change that as well <laughs> they're gonna change that and that's something they're gonna really really improve on uh especially like i see it now now that then now, uh, now that i know that's it's been in development for three years i it does make me think that maybe I'm sure they're, I mean, I'm sure they do have contact with the Dragon Raja developers. So maybe they do, you know, exchange ideas back and forth or exchange, uh, you know, systems or whatever. So, but yeah, the fact that it's been in development for three years makes me do think that they, they are probably a separate entity. Like they have their own separate studio for working on this game. And, uh, so that maybe it's not going to be so heavily Dragon Raja inspired, I guess. But yeah, as, as we can, we could see like some of the, some of the assets and things did look a lot like Dragon Raja. So I'm sure there will be some stuff here and there, but the fact that it does, that it's been in development for so long just really makes me think that they will also have like their, com a complete, uh, different experience. And I mean, we can tell by just looking at the game that they, that it really looks a lot different anyway enough babbling for me what did you guys think like what do you guys think from all of this uh tell me no let me know in the comments let me know what you're thinking like are you does this get you excited because it, it really is getting me excited 
Um, even though, I mean, I didn't, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say anything more. I don't want to like, uh, I just want to hear what you guys want to say. I don't want my, whatever I say, whatever I'm going to say next. I don't want that to have an effect on what you're going to say. So no more opinions from me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I, I think this is sounding really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep following this game. It, uh, I think it has potential. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, dislike, hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and GG's.